Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining What is EMDR? presented by yours truly, Dr. April Minhadis. What is EMDR? EMDR stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. How did this all start? Well, it was a chance discovery by the late and great Dr. Francine Shapiro, starting with a simple walk in the park. However, that'll be another video. Sometimes things happen to us, not because we are bad people, but because things happen in life. Some of those things are maybe car accidents, relationship issues, stuff that happens in childhood, or perhaps a war or natural disasters. When these things happen, sometimes they do not get processed and they are stuck in the brain with the same sounds, pictures, sensations, and feelings that you had at the time of the really tough experiences. Sometimes when things happen and they are not processed through, this can lead to distorted conclusions about the self. For example, take this little girl. She had some stuff happen to her, and that stuff led her to the conclusion of, I'm not good enough, and I don't belong. When she sees other children playing, this is a trigger for her, and her negative thoughts about herself come up, and something like, nobody likes me, I must be bad happens. Poor little girl. EMDR seems to bridge the gap between the distorted conclusions about self, such as, I'm not good enough, I don't matter, to things like, I do matter, I do belong, and I am good enough. And EMDR seems to do this by stimulating the brain's natural healing process that gets stuck sometimes. Take, for example, eating some of your favorite food that might not be so nice to your tummy, like a nice fried black bean burger, maybe some french fries, or my personal favorite, Mexican food. Sometimes these foods can lead to upset stomach. And things like gas, bloating, and other unpleasant digestive issues come up, leading you to not feel so great with an upset stomach. Similarly, when things happen, like for example, Amanda here, who was at Bear Canyon Park and saw a bear, her fight, flight, and freeze system was activated, and she froze. This was a pretty scary ordeal. She did what she could, and she survived the bear encounter. If for some reason the brain isn't able to digest this event at Bear Canyon, kind of like eating that fried food, Amanda may start to see a bear where none exists, like at this local dog park in the middle of the city. Logically, she knows that there is no bear, but she feels like a bear is there or will show up at any moment. Her conclusion about herself might be, I am not safe. This also happens in the places that are not parks, like places you go to in your everyday life, like your office or school. Amanda is really worried about this bear showing up and the memory of the bear with all its emotions, sensations, images, feelings, and conclusion about the self are all very real to Amanda and are coloring her everyday experiences. Somehow the brain was not able to digest this material on its own. Together, your brain and your EMDR therapist can help stimulate the brain's natural healing process so that when you go to the park, you know you are safe now. There are no bears at the local dog park in the middle of the city. Your everyday experiences are now back to normal. You are no longer worried about the danger that does not exist in your immediate surroundings. I must acknowledge that if Amanda takes a trip back to Bear Canyon, she might carry some bear spray if she should need it. So digesting this material won't take away Amanda's ability to take care of herself. It will just process the event so that she can lead a life without the event coloring every moment of it. To learn more, please visit www.andrea.org. And thank you, Dr. Shapiro, for your lasting contribution to humanity. Go with that.